It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Cleveland Browns. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. On the shores of Lake Erie, a name simply for the franchise who resides within it. Our coverage of the NFL brings us to Cleveland Browns Stadium. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more than likely is going to come away with the win. Dustin Hopkins out, ready to send this away. And off we go from Cleveland. Darius Davis to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So now out comes the Charger offense for their initial drive of the game. They'll be let out by the fifth-year pro who can really fill up a stat sheet, Justin Herbert. Hey, let's be honest. The only reason the Chargers drafted in the top five was because Justin Herbert wasn't available all season long. An injury cut short his year, but it really didn't cut short his production while he was playing. Still over 3,000 yards and 20 touchdowns. Kid, I can tell you, this is one guy that I love. I mean, I love to watch throw a football. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. He'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And he gets him around six there. Greg Newsom bringing that play to an end. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage. It sets up your play action. And it keeps that defense honest. From the 32, he's got Quentin Johnson complete. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And the Chargers will have a first. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks, that's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Second and three now. Again, they'll run with Dobbins. Has a lane inside the 35. And he has this all the way down to the 29-yard line. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And it brings up an L.A. first down. Yeah, you want to get above five yards to carry? Well, put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action. But right? when you really just gouge and gash a defense like that, the next time you run that action, they're going to be thinking running the ball to go right over their head. Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And right there is the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators when you get a nice run, right? You gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't, they call the pass, and the defense reacts and reacts well with the sack. All right, here we go. Second down. Run the counter with Dobbins. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, it was bad enough that the previous run went backwards. You've got to have balance in this league. I mean, you really do. There's no chance offensively to find sustained success unless you present run and pass to a defense. And right now, this defense is owning your run game. Here he is on third and long. Hurst there to grab it. And he's short of the first after a mild game. 
feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes, they so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. The wind was at a sales, Kate, and it certainly helped that football fly true and right down the middle. And from that distance, to hit with that accuracy is one impressive shot. To return, Jerome Ford. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So here come the Browns on offense, ready for their opening drive. Bringing him out to number one pick in 2015, a former league leader in passing, it's Jameis Winston. Don't think for a second, Kate, he hasn't heard the noise. Read the comments from the keyboard warriors who say they just want somebody else leading this team. But let me let you in on a little secret. Those criticisms, they can fuel quarterbacks. Make that chip on the shoulder even bigger to prove people wrong and to show, I really do belong in this league. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That one complete to Najoku. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like the 30. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now the first carry for Nick Chubb. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that gives the Browns a first. That's what I call a healthy return on investment. You run the toss play, looking for positive yards, looking to move the sticks, and I'm looking for that to be called again. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's Winston. Got a man. It's Najoku. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Brought down on the effort by Derwin James. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. From the 47. Connection made to Judy. And he reaches midfield and starts driving into Chargers territory. Well, that's a modest little drag route. But if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, that's a go-to route to target. Third down. One yard to go. Job going for the marker. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Win the early battle. Give a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. First and 10 at the 34 yard line. Good opening drive to this point. They've got another first down at the 34. Winston looking to throw. State pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks and sacks in this league often leads to wins. Offense to the line for second down. They give inside to Chubb. And he ranges forward to the 31 before they bring him down. 
The rookie from Notre Dame able to take him down. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Winston. He'll get this to Tillman. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. First down from the red zone. This throw is cut. And he's going to take this one in for the Cleveland touchdown. The Browns finish off their opening drive. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock. And they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football field. <laughs> but you start <laughs> yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. He sure did. On comes Dustin Hopkins to try the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Browns one up the opposing field goal. They start with seven on their opening drive. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Here's a return from the seven. This return makes it up to the 25. So the LA offense getting out there for their second drive. And their last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. ready to begin this drive first and ten they get it on the ground here with Dobbins and his defense offering no room at all up the gut there no gain Miles Garrett coming in for the stop call it no gain on that run and they face second and ten when you rush the passer it's kind of like tracking down a runner that same pass same athleticism comes to life he looked pretty good hunting his prey right there on second down, here's Dobbins. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. Former first rounder Devin Bush making the play. Only a yard on the play. An improvement on their last one, but that brings up third and nine. Herbert from the gun. He's on the move. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Now about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. Man, I don't ever want to be a defensive coordinator. They do so many things right to take away the pass, and then what happens? Well, you get a quarterback that lowers his head, gashes the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. You take away the pass, but you can't stop the QB run. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Completed here to Johnston. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. And that was Martin Emerson with a stop that time. Second down now, seven to go. From the 42. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Tough one to retain through that hit. And that brings up third down. 
As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on the back one through a well placed hit. On third down, Herbert. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game. Fourth down coming up. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. So on fourth down, here's J.K. Scott on to punt it away for the Chargers. So this one will go out of bounds, and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. Onto the field comes the Browns' offense for the second time. And so far, they've executed exactly how they drew it up, Brock. Early lead, no points allowed, and a chance now to seize control of the game on their second possession. And, Kate, generally, offenses love to script their first 10 to 15 plays. Well, this entire game script is playing out just the way they want to. Drive starts out with a first and 10. They begin to drive the chum. And he'll pull his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. You know, Kate, one of the reasons it's so hard to run the ball in the NFL is to move grown men off their spot against their will. You get a run play like that, you've done your job. You've moved them against their will, and you've set yourself up for some later success. Second and six now. Finds him over the middle. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Making the tackle there, Joey Bosa. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. They picked up a good chunk, and there was nearly room to add even more. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Didn't get that one off in time. This is going to be a delay of game. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Still third down. It's third and five for him after the penalty. Throwing is Winston. Complete beyond the marker. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. But as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. First and 10 from the 41. So that connection for a first will bring us to the end of the first. 7-3 is our score. We'll return to Cleveland Browns Stadium after this. We're ready now for the second quarter. Browns in control of it. They've got first and ten here, looking to add to their lead. Here's Chubb up the middle. And he's officially in the enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. I got to really rack my brain, Kate, to remember a play, a run in this league that nice that doesn't end up getting off at the first down. He did all he could to wheel this drive forward. In a good spot here, second and inches. Here's Winston to the air. Finding Judy. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. Well, you don't normally get that type of outcome on a slant. You're just looking for a little short yard gain. But find the right type of athlete with space to work before and a perfectly placed ball after the catch. Well, it's a perfect play to break it big. Job on the give, headed left. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. 
for a second, this is time you step off the gas. You can feel this defense, right? They're on their heels. And now's the best chance to go push the envelope and get aggressive. Offense set for a first and ten. Again, it's Chubb. And they're going to bring him down after he drives it down to the seven. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Staying on the ground here with Chubb. And this run doesn't have the juice of that last one. He stopped at the line. No gain on second down, and they need two here on third. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say there's just times you got to run into darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Looking to throw on third and two. That's caught for the first. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. A gain of five, Brock, and now they're going to have first and goal. Winston now. And he can't hang on. Touchdown in his arms. But it slips through. Second down coming up. Yeah, that's one that's going to haunt him. There's just no question about it. A drop touchdown in the end zone. Now comes the mental toughness part of it. you got to flush that play quickly so you can make an impact later. Going power with a big tight end. And he's in for the touchdown. Well, Brock, not sure the play they were running was all that disguised, but with the personnel they had out there, it was going to be tough to stop them either way. Yeah, there's a great debate. Is it the X's and O's or the Jimmy's and Joe's? <laughs> yep. No debate there. That was the Jimmy's and the Joe's in their want to to run it right down their throat. On his Hopkins for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Browns drive their lead to 11. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. On the return, here comes Davis. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Possession switching back to the L.A. offense as they head out. And they find themselves trailing by 11 as they take over down 14-3. Set first and ten. Now Herbert to throw. Johnston brings it in. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Set it down for him at the 38. They'll run on first down with Dobbins. And he's brought down for a loss. Mm, 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 mm. That is teaching tape for a linebacker. Read, react, and finish. Back to the line they go. It's second down.
Shotgun snap to Herbert. Getting out to his left. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. In a situation like this, you got to be a fixer. I mean, this game is hard. and you get into passing, known passing situations, it gets even more difficult. But when you don't get rid of the ball and you take another sack, you make this third down a near impossibility. Got to figure out this third down here. Working from the gun here, it's Herbert. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. Well, third and 15, you don't see many of those picked up, partner, but they found a way. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Play action now for Herbert. Flushed out of the pocket. Now here he goes. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Second and three now. We'll give to Dobbins out of the shotgun. The defenders are there to get him at the line. Juan Thornhill getting there for the stop. No gain on second down, and they need two here on third. Running it again with Dobbins. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. It's a gain of four there. And the Chargers will have a first. You love a huddle? Kate, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there. And he's going to get the job done. And he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. Herbert now off the play fake. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. That's pretty impressive, Kate. I mean, to have the awareness, the body control, to not just secure the ball, but to keep both feet down on the sideline. Might be trying to power this across, Brock. They've got three tight ends out there. It's first and goal. An inside handoff to Dobbins. And they make a stop at the last minute. It's a game down to the one. Six yards from there. It's going to be second and goal. Hey, I get it on first and goal. Right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Dobbins. And he takes it into the end zone for the L.A. touchdown. The Chargers make it a one-score game in the first half. J.K. Dobbins with the touchdown. Well, we all knew what was coming when they got into that goal line formation, didn't we, Brock? And they just pound the rock in for an old-school touchdown. I just sometimes love that stuff. Hey, nothing yep. fancy, nothing cute. Here's our formation. You know we're running right at you, and we challenge you to stop us, and you can't. Now it's Cameron Dicker on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Chargers cut the lead down to four.
We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Here's Ford on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Browns with their offense back out there as Nick Chubb returns to the field. And we'll see if the perfect start can continue as they try for their third touchdown in three drives. They'll get this drive started, first and 10. Off to Chubb to start the drive. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They'll give to Chubb on the option. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. Winston to throw it. That's Tillman. He's got it. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. He manages a gain of eight there. And that gives the Browns a first. First down. First and ten at the 38-yard line. New set of downs for him at the 38. They run it from the gun with Chubb. Breaks the tackle, still going. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. And it's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender. Heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this beast down. Short side option here. He's running left. And he gets a one as we come up to the two-minute warning. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Here's Winston. That one complete to Njoku. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have, and he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. To throw, here's Winston. That's to his back, Nick Chubb. And he's able to take this one down at the 25. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. It sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Winston looking to throw. Into the hands of Tillman, complete. And he'll go down here at the 16. That play goes for eight yards and it keeps this drive moving. The Browns take the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. They are throwing it again. It's into the hands of Chubb. And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. But when you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. 
Gets it towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And that makes it second and goal. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. Still sticking with the passing game. Has it down close. Touchdown, Cleveland. So Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Hopkins for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Browns drive their lead to 11. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Here comes the final play of our first half. Back to throw it. He lobs it up. Left sideline. Looking for a jump. Brought in. Inside the 20. And he's out of bounds. All the way inside the red zone. So it's halftime here in Cleveland. With the Browns on top at the break. Now it's down to Florida. Where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando. For the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate. Thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first... Time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the veteran Jameis Winston just doing his thing. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. Dicker all lined up and ready to boot it away. Here's Ford on the return. The Browns and this running back headed back out for a new series. drive will start out with a first and ten. They give now to Chubb. And they'll bundle this up after a four-yard gain. Stopped by Dayon Henley. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign? Well, they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Here's Chubb on second down. He gets it ahead, winds up with about three. Brought down on the effort by Derwin James. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Chubb going for the marker. 
And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Calm, cool, collected from this offense. Love to see it. No tunnel vision on what down it was. Just focused, executing the play in front of them. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Job running out of the gun. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. That's the kind of run play that feels like tug of war at field day. <laughs> and you're just not moving the other side. Just a short run. Neither side feels particularly good about it. And we'll move to the next. Second down now, seven to go. They give inside to Chubb. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Chargers in the dime on third down. Six DBs out in coverage. Winston. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Making it harder than it needs to be right there. Just get the catch first. Guarantee some yards. And then worry about escaping the defenders and getting upfield. The Browns looking to punt on fourth down, so on comes their southpaw. Corey Bohorquez to handle it. And this one is out of bounds. No return on the kick. The Chargers offense getting set to take over. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. A play fake, now Herbert to throw. That one's cut along the left sideline. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. That one goes for 31 yards and a first down when all is said and done. One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar gun. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of throw when you throw it that deep outside the numbers that requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45, Brock, with a new set of downs to boot. A give right side to Dobbins. Into the second level past the 30. To the house, touchdown L.A. The Chargers struck the second half with some needed points. J.K. Dobbins with the touchdown. There's time to chat him about poor tackling later, Brock. And I probably will. And you probably will. Coach probably will give him an earful about it as well. But let's not let the missed tackle take away from excellent effort he had on that run. Yeah, it really was his effort to force that missed tackle. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's the key. And open the door for that touchdown as soon as he slipped that stop. His mind was focused on one thing and one thing only, the end zone. For a second, looked like the Chargers offense was coming off, but no, coaches say stay out there. We're going for two. And they get the two-point conversion. Nice catch in the end zone there. They're back within a field goal now. Critical two-point play there, Brock. The conversion puts them now in range of tying this sucker up with a field goal. So different for everybody in the building, right? A three-point game, and especially mm. different for the kicker. He wasn't needed there, but get yourself ready. Your defense does the job. You may need a game-tying field goal at some point soon.
Volley set up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Here's Ford on the return. Good looking return here, and he's got room. The tackle's made, so this drive will begin at the 34-yard line. The Browns back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And as some running lanes have closed, he's just found some new ones. Continuing to hit this defense. More good numbers well into this second half. Here's first and ten from the 34. They're going play action. He fires one deep down the middle. And they can't connect on the deep look. Still a couple of snaps to play with, though, here. We've got second down. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Here's a gift to Chubb. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Brought down on the effort by Derwin James. They come to the line here. This is third and six. Here's Winston to the air. He'll get this complete to Chubb. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed, enough to keep this drive moving. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Throwing is Winston. A throw right side, caught by Najoku. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Every once in a while, sure, a pass, it can go for a negative yard. But lose that much, I promise you, that call will never come up on the call sheet again. All right, here we go, second down. Winston now. Throw reeled in by Najoku. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. First and 10 from the 41. Throwing it again here. Escapes the pocket. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short gain to show for it after sliding down. Well, this is in every quarterback's tool belt. Even the ones not regarded as the best movers and shakers. But, Kate, to play QB in the league today, you've got to be able to do this. If you've got nobody open, still get some positive yards with your legs. From the 37. Got a man. It's Njoku. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. Small pass, big result. This dude is just a juggernaut with the football. And once he gets rolling, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to stop him from playing add-on with those yards. Jump here on first down. And he's got it down into the red zone at the 16. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. Receiver in motion, going left. Running for the marker on second. And he fought the good fight there just to make it back to the line. Nothing gained or lost on that run, and now it's third and three. Where one defender failed, while well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. All plays on the table here for third and three. 
Fakes the handoff, now to throw. Too far out of the back of the end zone, it goes incomplete. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're gonna miss. You just gotta shake it off and keep shooting away. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're gonna try on fourth. He's back to throw. He finds him beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. He's so close to get off the field. But the fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. But now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. Looking to throw on first and goal. That one's incomplete in the end zone. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Here's Chubb up the middle. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seven. He gets two on that run. That brings up third and goal. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. Winston to throw it. Can't connect over the middle. It's incomplete. I'll tell you this, Kate. That's that's where you got to be on the same page with one another and get both ends of the play right to execute, both the protection and ultimately completing that ball. They certainly want that play call back. So the Browns are going to kick the field goal on fourth down. Dustin Hopkins on for the attempt. A very short kick here from the right hand. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll double their lead to six. Well, that's a type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team is out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. On the return, here comes Davis. This return makes it up to the 25. The Chargers are getting the ball back as J.K. Dobbins runs out there. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really being the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Working from the gun here, it's Herbert. A quick slant, here's McConkey. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. All to the ground by Jordan Hicks. Everyone's prepped, it's second down now. Herbert, quick out wide, complete. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. Oh, man, these are the kind of plays you can't wait to get on film and watch the next day. Look at the fellow pass catchers. Look at the guys getting out in front, helping on that screen pass. Get your player in space, your buddies do the rest around you, and a big play follows. This time they're going to get there, and they drop it. Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and clear. That's part of this game. You've got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home with that side.
Offense to the line for second down. Trying again, following the set. Completed to Hurst. And he breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa there to bring him down. You know, Kate, it's almost as if the defense invited him to make that throw. That was a play they knew they could defend, and they stopped it right at the line. mistakes. The key is to clean that up as quickly as he can. Ball carrier loses possession, but he doesn't panic and lose composure. Instead, well, he hops on the ball and he saves the day. Fourth down and on comes the punt team and the kicks away. Secures this at the 17. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. That excitement brings us to the end of the quarter. They'll have a shiny new set of downs to play with to start the four. It's Brown's ball working to carry this lead through to the end. They're out and set, first and ten. They begin the drive with Chubb. And this one does not go far. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. from the gun he's got it to him yet again that is caught and he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29 short yardage situation here it's third and two they'll run this is Chubb and this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. Three yards there and enough to move the chains. There wasn't a lot there for him, but he did what he needed to do. Go get that first down. Picked up the short gain, didn't risk a big loss. Looking for a bigger lane elsewhere. Ball at the 33 for first down. To throw, here's Winston. That one complete to Najoku. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. As quarterback, when you have an out route versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy could turn the hips of that defender. And once you see that, you've got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. They go play action here. No one open, so he chucks this to another county. There was almost no resistance offered against a rush that came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. A give to Chubb, running left. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because money down, they want the ball. But a third down run for a first down can be so demoralizing to that defense. New set of downs for him from the 46. First down, and they go right back to him. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. Second and six coming up here. Staying on the ground here with Chubb. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. 
To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane of field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. You're set up at the 35 now. They send a man in motion. Going to the ground again on first. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Well, Kate, a two-yard run on first down, I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. But you're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Changing things up, they're going to throw now. Finds him on the slant. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Battle coming up on third and inches. Winston. It's into the hands of Chubb. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. A pickup of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the sticks. A play like this, that's exactly where you want to get him the ball, right on the outside, where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. They are now set for first and ten. Here's Winston. Tillman, he's got it! And that tackle stops him after a solid game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. On the ground, it's a give to Chubb. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision and extra yards. Winston looking to throw. They did it! He made the interception! Picked by Alohi Gilman. Mm -mm -mm. There are costly interceptions, Brock, and then there are interceptions inside the red zone in the second half of a one-score game. And if there is ever a time where ball security is paramount, it is right now. Yeah. They made a great play. Don't get me wrong. They deserve a ton of credit right there. Mm -hmm. But as a quarterback, you cannot risk a turnover. It's touchdown, it's check down, it's throw the ball away. You're literally throwing points away with that pick. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Running it again with Dobbins. And the look outside yields no fruit. They make the stop near the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back runs yielding just two yards, and now it's third and eight. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. On third down, Herbert. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. 
Almost the impact play this defense was searching for, but they could only get half the job done, partner. Fumble forced, but they couldn't recover. I'll tell you what else it forces, though. That coordinator, that play caller on the other side, now got a little bit of doubt about his ball handlers. Got to have better ball security than that. The Chargers lined up in punt formation. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. That one an impressive 57-yard kick. And the Browns will go on offense. New set of downs for him from the 46. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. That's more on the quick slant. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. It's a pickup of 11. And that gives the Browns a first. First and 10. Here's Winston to the air. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. You feel unlucky? Well, do you? Well, he should because quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Winston now. He'll get this complete to Chubb. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. At that down the distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. All right, set now, first and ten. They are throwing it again. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. This is Chubb. And he's in. It's a Cleveland touchdown. The Browns make it a two-possession game here in the fourth. It's a Nick Chubb touchdown. Well, he found himself some space to work, and from there, all athleticism as he made his way in for six. You know, you run the ball down in the red zone, Kate. You're not always thinking touchdowns, right? Space is so hard to come by. But you're exactly right. His athleticism, his explosion, his speed, it puts six on the board for the offense. The Browns keeping the offense out on the football field. They want two here. He's throwing for it. And this is caught. So add a couple more to this lead they've got here in the fourth. Quarterback's best friend, big targets in the red zone. Not many guys can match up and defend someone like him, and no surprise, it went right to him for the conversion.
Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Returning it from the four. And this drive will start inside the 25. Now L.A. getting its offense all set to go. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Drive will start out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap to Herbert. Caught quickly on the slant. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. A dose of the hurry up offense here. Second and four. Completed here to Johnston. They get 13 on the pickup. And it brings up an L.A. first down. Herbert from the gun. And that's incomplete, but he might have done a little too much to cause that. Flag comes out, and this could be interference. So a little too much contact on the part of the defender, and the officials flag him for it. Throwing on first is Herbert. He's on the move. He's keeping it. They strike for 23 yards. And the Chargers will have a first. Obviously, a defense wants to take away all the reads and prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. Well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. They'll come up first and 10. And no luck there, and that throw falls to the ground. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to the air, Herbert. He's got it at the five. Touchdown, L.A. I think we actually saw him call it early there, Brock. He made that throw, and then he signaled it was going to be a touchdown, like a guy calling it before his three-pointer goes through the net. Oh, you mean like Larry Legend Bird Ooh. in the three-point shooting contest in the 80s? Or maybe I like know, a Tyrese you... Maxey, you know, but whatever. Well, I, the kids aren't alive, I get it. And they weren't <laughs> alive in the 80s. They didn't see Larry Legend do it, but he did, and he anticipated just like the quarterback. Dicker on now for the PAT. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Chargers chop the lead in half, it's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This return starts at the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The home team, St. Jameis Winston, ready to go once again on offense. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. And off 
to Chubb to start the drive. And that carry only nets one on the plunge up the gut. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in Cleveland. Browns leading by seven. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Again, it's Chubb. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. So quickly, the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. They are running from the gun with Chubb. He's got the first and more past the 40. And all the way up to the 42-yard line before he stopped. They have themselves another first and ten. Here's a counter give to Chubb. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Now whistles and a timeout taken quickly by the defense. 150 left to go. To the line they go. It's second down. They give inside to Chubb. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Two yards on the run, but a tough spot upcoming. We've got third and 12. Well, no spring in a big play on that one. It's just going to simply be used as a setup play, whether that's another run or eventually what I love, setting up a play-action pass off that counter-action. On third down, they'll go with Chubb. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Four yards narrows the distance a bit, but still some yardage left here on fourth down. It's fourth down. The Browns are lining up to punt. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Charger offense making its way to the field. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Looking to throw it. And they got there in time. He's taken down. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Time we offered some serious blanket praise for this entire group defensively. The guys up front, they've certainly generated the pressure. Everybody on the back end in coverage, but well, they're holding down their assignments to delay these throws. This is going to be one tomorrow, one fun tape to watch, because six sacks, hard to come by in this league. And they get to him again! So to a chorus of bucks from the dog pound, the Browns take the win at home. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. So for my partner Brock Heward and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a well-earned win for the Browns, as with that, we'll sign off from Cleveland.